In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, uh, today we celebrate the feast of St. Angelus of Jerusalem, and he is the patron saint of converts. Let us pray to him. O Holy St. Angelus of Jerusalem, you started to become famous for your cures in humility. Then you withdrew to Hermitage of Mount Carmel for five years. Later, you started to preach against heresies and converted many, particularly at Palmarmo. Over 200 Jews sought baptism as a result of your preaching. The other time, when you were preaching to a crowd, a band of ruffians headed by Baragumus broke through the crowd and stabbed and mortality wounded you. You fell on your knees praying for your attacker and you died after four days. Pray that all the sheep who stray out of God's fold may be converted to our Lord, the Good Shepherd. Amen. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, today we also celebrate the Feast of Mary, Queen of Apostles. Let us pray to her. O Mary, Queen of the Apostles, I venerate and praise that privilege unique in the world, whereby pleasing God in your humility and faith and preserving your spotless virginity, you became the great mother of the divine Savior, source of all truth and first apostle of truth. I ask you to obtain for me the grace of heavenly wisdom, to be a humble and fervent disciple of Jesus, a devoted child of the church, the pillar of truth. Amen. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, the patron saint of today, Saint Angelus of Jerusalem, is the patron saint of the converts. We pray for them. Heavenly Father, we thank you, we praise you for this day. We thank you for your son Jesus, who by his preaching brought many people who were in darkness to light. And through Jesus, who gave this authority to preach to the apostles, and through apostles, priests and religious. We pray for all of us, Lord, today, that by our way of life, by our way of speaking, thinking, doing, may bring back people who have gone astray from you. May every word that we speak today may be your word of encouragement, your word of healing. May all that we do today, may we extend the hand for the others so that they may rise in the society. May every step that we take into the life of people may strengthen them to walk in confidence. We pray, Lord, for all the people who have accepted to trust and believe in you. Help them so that they continue to have faith in you, irrespective of all the troubles. Grant them your grace and strength to overcome all the obstacles. Mary, Queen of Apostles, pray for all your apostles on earth who are following your son Jesus. Intercede for them so that through your intercession they may all be strengthened to walk zealously and to spread the message of your Son, Jesus Christ. We make this prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.